For 16 straight years, the Ravens have had at least one undrafted rookie make the roster. It's to the point now where fans are always asking who's going to be that next diamond in the rough that the Ravens find. Well, they have some pretty good candidates this year. Head coach John Harbaugh and general manager Eric DaCosta have both been really fired up about this undrafted rookie class. And I know it's still early. We haven't seen these guys on the field yet. But there are going to be some candidates who can make this year's squad. And I'll give you a couple names. I think it makes sense to start with tight end. Obviously, there's a need there after the Ravens traded Hayden Hurst this offseason. And Jake Breland from Oregon and Eli Wolf from Georgia are going to be competing for a spot on this team. They're both really good players. They actually could have been drafted. I was a little surprised that they went undrafted this year. But then the Ravens got him. Breland is probably a little bit more of a high-profile prospect. He had 405 receiving yards and six touchdowns last year before going down with an injury. But head coach John Harbaugh spoke with PSL owners last week, and during that call, he had some really good things to say about both Breland and Wolf. Eli, as you know, the Georgia guy, he transferred from Tennessee. He's from Ohio originally. Um, real, real fast. I mean, he ran low four fours as a tight end. He's about 235, 240 pounds. He probably put on a little bit of weight. But he's kind of an H-back, kind of a mover, kind of a receiving guy. Very similar to Hayden, like you said. And, um, and then uh, Breland is a, is a guy that hurt, hurt his knee halfway through the season. But he was on, on track for a record-breaking season as a tight end. He's another – he'll be a pretty good inline blocker too, but he's more another receiver-type guy, a little bit like uh, Hayden and a little bit like Mark, kind of a, a mix of those guys. Real good body control, great hands, can find the soft spots in zone, use his body against man. That's why we got them. So, yeah, high hopes for those guys. And, um, you know, at least one of them will make the team. Uh, we also uh, have room on the practice squad. We'll see how it goes. Maybe they'll both make it. You never know. But I think they're both really good players, to your point. So we'll see how those tight ends do this year. And I'll give you one more name. Outside linebacker Chauncey Rivers. He's from Mississippi State. He had 15 and a half tackles for loss over the past two seasons. He's an explosive player who has some potential. The Ravens do still have a bit of a need at that outside linebacker position. And if Rivers can impress over the course of the summer, then he could find himself earning a spot on this team. So that's an early look at some of the undrafted prospects who can make the roster. That's it for me on Final Drive, but thanks for watching. I'll see all of you again on Monday. Actually, one more thing before I go. I want to make sure you know right now you can save money on your car insurance by switching to GEICO. Get that done today by visiting GEICO.com.